Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining this hearing. I apologize for the hour delay. They've been in conversation with some stakeholders that have some concern about this bill. And hopefully, I mean, fortunately, I think that we know with the support of the speaker and my colleague, we're ready to vote it. Also, I'm late because I was at 61st Street and Northern Boulevard together with the NYPD, DOT, and, and DCAS uh, addressing some new initiative that from now on we, we will see in the city of York reinforcing uh, more law enforcement going after those drivers who doesn't respect the right of those children to cross the street near the school. So I apologize big time to my colleague, but that's the reason why we are starting late. Uh, today, the, com the committee convened to vote on proposed intro 1789-A, sponsored by myself. Proposed intro 1789-A is a local law to amend the administrative code of the city of New York in relation to side guards. The committee heard a previous version of this bill on October 24, 2019. In January of 2014, Mayor Bill de Blasio announced the creation of Vision Zero, a citywide policy aimed at eliminating traffic fatality in New York City, in New York City streets by 2024. However, in 2020, there were 246 traffic fatalities, the most since Vision Zero began. While I'll applaud DOT's efforts on safety, it seems we are still a long way from the goal of ending traffic fatality, and I hope that in the couple of months that we have in this administration and the administration to come on January 1st, we will see a follow-up of Vision Zero. Large trucks are crucial to keeping our street a running, but they, are, they account for significant numbers of pedestrians and cyclist fatalities. Fatality from a, from a subject of these crashes, side impact, also called on the right, can be mitigated through the installation of side guard. Side guard are device that prevents pedestrians or cyclists from being pulled into the exposed space between a truck's axles, axles and run over by the rear wheels. Studied from other jurisdictions that require side guards like the United Kingdoms has shown that they are extremely effective in preventing fatality from these kind of crashes. Since the passes of local law in 2015, city agencies have worked to install side guards on large vehicles in the city fleet with a January 1st, 2024 deadline. However, with the crisis this city faced in dealing with pedestrians and cyclist fatalities, it's time we go further We requiring this simple and effective safety solution. Proposed intro 1789-A would, would accelerate the existing deadlines for SAR guard implementation in the city's fleet and for trade waste a hauling vehicles from January 1st, 2024 to January 1st, 2023. Starting in 2023, it will also require the installation of SAR guard on all large vehicles used for contract with city's agency of at least $2 million. I'm proud to sponsor this bill, which will reduce traffic fatality in our city. I will now ask the committee clerk to conduct a roll call vote on the proposed bill and recommend my colleagues to vote yes on this important piece of legislation. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote, Committee on Transportation, proposed introduction 1789A, Chair Rodriguez. I vote aye. I vote aye on this bill. Este bill busca prevenir que mueran más niños, que mueran más peatones, que mueran más eh, personas que andan caminando en la calle, que muchas veces son golpeados por camiones y los cuerpos terminan dentro de las, de, debajo de, los, de, la, de las gomas. Con esto estamos avanzando, Vision Zero, asegurándonos que en el tiempo que le quede a esta administración se continúe salvando vida y que la próxima administración también continúe este mismo objetivo. With that, I vote aye. Cabrera. Aye. Ku. Aye. Rose. Aye. 
Levine. Aye. Holden. I vote aye. Brooks Powers. Aye. By a vote of seven in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, item has been adopted by the committee. Is there a ring a second?